I'm Alika Hope with Connecticut Perspective TV. We've all heard the old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But what about coming to a place full of apple trees? I'm here in Horse Listener's Orchard in Ashford, Connecticut. Let's go check it out. Come on. I'm here with Matt Cousins, who is the owner of Horse Listener's Orchard. Welcome to the show, Matt. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of Horse Listener's? Well, we uh, purchased the orchard in 2007 uh, from the previous owner who had it for 40 years. They started it as an orchard and I took it over and have, uh, you know, basically planted a lot of new trees and done a lot of vegetables and a lot of clam clearing and uh, I brought horses on site to integrate into the agricultural theme of the orchard. We pretty much are a fruit and vegetable stand and uh, a place for people to come and enjoy themselves with uh, the agricultural setting that we have here. And I noticed that if people are driving from Hartford to Boston, you're right off 84, you're only a couple yeah. miles off, or a few miles off 84. Yeah. And so if you're on your way to Boston and you want some produce, you could just come over here and pick some stuff and get back on the freeway. I'm here with Aristotle, who came here to pick apples with his children. What is your perspective on Horse Listener's Orchard? Well, this takes me back to uh, a, a simpler time in, in, in an American history, mm -hmm. let's say, where kind of like a Norman Rockwell uh, atmosphere where just to interact with the, uh, the natural environment, whether it's picking apples or uh, petting the horses, it's just, it, I think it just gives us a, uh, it reconnects us with nature, mm -hmm. and it, it's also a, a time to bond with the children in this kind of environment, and it's just been a real joy. So there you have it, a 21st century Norman Rockwell experience right here in Connecticut. <laughs> Thank you, Aristotle. Anytime. Okay, I got all my supplies. We're going to pick the apples into these buckets for the kids, and I wanted to show them this is a professional orchard picker bucket. You wear it around your neck, huh? You wear it around your neck, you fill it up, and when you go over to the bin, you, you gently put the apples into the bin. They just kind of roll into the bin so they don't get bruised, and I have a measuring device here that shows you how many, oh. how many apples per bushel. I wanted to show you the, the tools. What the apple pickers do is, when you pick an apple, you lift up and you twist it off. Okay, and this is a measuring device. And this is how, when we grade apples, we decide how big are the apples and how many we can get into a box. Like this particular apple, ah, that's, that'll go through that circle. Okay, that's a, that means I can get, if you look at the chart, it tells you you get 113 of this size apples in a, in a box. Okay, well we've, we've discussed picking an apple. Um, we've got the apple buckets here, and maybe it's time for you guys to, to pick an apple if you'd like. All right, let's go pick some apples. Come well, on. Let's go down here. Let's a go down bit. here. And the kids really like the apples. I've even had some mothers tell me that they were in a grocery store and their kids were reminding them that they could not buy apples at the grocery store. They had to come, come, to, the <laughs> they had to, come here. to get them. <laughs> Boy. I'm here with a six-year-old Marcellus. Marcellus, what is your perspective on apple picking at Horse Listeners? They're um, healthy and they taste good. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to pick them. And I see you almost finished yours. Do you want to show the camera how much apple you have left? You ate almost the whole thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and did you like riding on the hay tractor? Yes. Yes. Are you going to come back later and pick some pumpkins? I don't know. You don't know? I bet you will. I bet your mommy will bring you back because I see you've been having a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, Marcellus, for joining us. You're welcome. <laughs> 
Horse Listeners had hay rides. Lots of fun for children and adults of all ages. Are you having fun here? We are. We're having a great time. Yeah. And what's your perspective on Horse Listeners Farm so far? Oh, it's really cute and quaint. It's yeah. very cozy. I think I've been here before, but I, it's beautiful. It's a very popular place. People from all over the state come here and pick apples and blueberries and, of course, take hay rides. Woo! Are we having fun? Thank you so much, Matt, for being well, thank on. Thank you for having me. And, uh, thank you for coming out to the orchard. I sure enjoyed your group very much. Thank you.